Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Zenvox channel. Today we're building the high grade Universal Sentry, the Garbaldi Beta. So, a couple of days, like uh, one or two months ago, I built a build diver series called the Garbaldi Rebake, and this is the this is the origin. This is the OGMS. Okay, so the Garbaldi Rebake, as I said in that video, is based on this Beta, and let's take a look at it. So first. We got the little bit of action and then, you know, uh, gimmicks being told. And you can see there's, a, there's some kind of information there. And may I say though, I kind of like the box art. The, bo the box art kind of shows the launching scene of the in the anime. And then at the other side, we this time we have English text here. So we can say that the Gabali Bader is do 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 do. You can read that. If you really want to read it, I suggest you just pause here and then you can keep reading. Okay, I'm not gonna do the reading. And if you if you were you know a very old gamer fan, you do notice this gamer do have a one to one forty four scale model before. It was like what twenty years ago. <laughs> 20, 20, 25 years ago. I, I don't exactly remember the year, but it was probably a very old model and it's going to be really bad. And I have to warn you, it's really bad. Okay. But this time we got a revived version of it. So let's dive straight into it. So let's take out the packages first. So we got, so we got four packages and then one instruction menu. So let's quickly flick through it. So first on the left, on the top left corner, usually we got the model number, total height, weight, weight, uh, generator output, thrusters, material, armor, blah, 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 blah. And then we got the inside, we got the action details, we got the text again for the introduction, and then we got all kind of action poses. And then at the other side here, we got the instruction, actual instruction here. And then here, the whole, the whole gameplay is newly molded, so every bit on the runner will be used. And then we have the actions here, the action review, the weapon gimmicks, and then again, the intro same introduction again, and then we can, we can see there's the color guide here as well. So now, let's put down the instruction menu. I'm gonna open up the runners first. All right, now let's take a quick feel of the runner. So this is the A1 runner. We got the back skirt here. Then we also got some shoulder piece here, some waist piece here, and then we got the beam sabers, torsos, and torsos and beam sabers. This is a A3 runner. This is a torso and the backpack runners, and along with the waist. This is an A2 runner. And we can as we can see we got feet parts, some waist part, the kneecaps, the feet part, and then some of the legs part. And this is the arms part as well. This is a C2 runner. And it's the inner joint of the MS. As you can see here, we got some arms showing and some legs inner joint as well. This is a B2 runner. As we can see here, we got some legs joint, some arms joint. And that's pretty much it. This is a D1 runner, the shield. This is a C1 runner. As you can see here, we got rive, beam rivals. And then we got a lot of inner joints for the waist, for the torso, arms, shoulders, and then we got even got some tubes, the the power tubes on the waist. And then we got some hands option here. We got the trigger hand, and then we also got the got the tubes, got the pipes for the head as well, right here. And then that's pretty much it. That's the inner joints. And this is the B1 runner. And this is the this is for the legs, the head, the arms, the waist, and then we got some part of the legs as well, the shoulders, and then some hand, the hand armor for the hands option parts. And then that's pretty much it. It's not very hard to guess the runners. So then we have a first small sticker. So for the mono eye and the shield, then we got polycaps and then two beam saber evac parts. Right, that's not much to in introduce for the runners, so let's jump straight to building and I'll see you guys at the review again.
Hey, welcome back to the review of the Gabali Beta, and this is the finishing of it. This is, a, of course, a huge difference between the uh, Rebake and the Beta. So, because Rebake is the customized version of this, and I also need to say though, this this not this does not disappoint me at all. And I personally feel like the the Gabali Rebake is is you know slightly worse than this. Because the if you watch my review with all the hand joint, it's just being stupid. Anyways, well this time if you look at the Rebake before Rebake review before, it's basically the same. But except this time we have a we have a of course the color different. And I personally have to say though, that the the details is not on the surface is actually more at on the joints and the and actually in the mobile suit as well so we'll get to that part and i also gonna say though there's some there's like two hidden gimmicks that this actually surprises me the most and you know let's not talk that much and let's jump straight into it first let's talk a look at the head so the head is exactly the same like the dj i'm not saying the design is exactly the same like dj i'm saying the mono eye is not movable like the DJ. So the head is capable of moving up and down in 360 as well. And as you can see, the color separation on the kit itself, I think is doing a pretty good job. And I actually moved the joint down on the neck. So give me a second. So as you can see, the neck here is a ball joint. It's a PC, is uh it's a PC part as usual. And there's a lot of details all there's actually quite a bit of details on the on the head so you make sure you want to pen align it and they also give you the proper color separation so you actually got the back of the head with the correct color separation as well i think that part is actually pretty good now we look at the chest so the chest is basically the same like the uh gabali rebake but there's a hidden detail in here if you take this side of the arm off which i can if you take this side of the arm off you can actually see the cockpit detail under the armor and i think that is a pretty good thing and that's a pretty surprising thing as well because you know not a lot of ms included the inner cockpit detail and i think this is great and what we have to do is just put this piece of armor back on and then you can perfectly cover it up and the waist part here it and the waist part here is a ball joint so it is like a it is like the ground type gun uh, it's just like the ground type gundam problem uh, it's going to be frequently popping out so you make sure you want to you know be be a little bit more careful about it the waist can move side to side as well and the part that i want to show you guys is have to take off the head you can look at this look how detailed it is inside there so under the neck here i recommend you you need to do some panel lighting because all those details looks amazing and i really recommend you do you know uh use just do some panel lighting because the details is not going to be as sharp it's not going to be as sharp as this if you don't do the panel lighting all right next up let's talk about arms so arms first you can move 360 you can lift up and there's an extended joint here you can lift the whole arm up even more and that is pretty good and the arms down here is to and it's movable the hands down here is movable and the arms can bend up all the way on the shoulder piece armor and then you can you know move it back like this and then the hidden and then the hidden detail here you can actually see that is there is a beam saber hidden in there but the part is this beam saber does not actually uh, work at all it is just a short part that you put in it if you look at carefully it is just a small part that been put in to the shoulders and the actual beam savers they give you a separate piece of it because uh is this is it this is an xg and it's not possible to shove the whole beam savers in it all right now let's talk about the waist so the waist can move 360 without any interruption if you look at the back of the waist there's a small detail here make sure you do the panel lining on it and then the front skirt let's move up as well and then the side skirt here we got a different color separation for the tube and it actually can lift up slightly and then the legs can kick to the front can kick to the back very slightly and kick to the side and then also and then also there's a there's a main joint here that you can actually adjust the legs position and then my uh, the legs can bend with a probably a, i would say about a 150 angle the part that i don't like the legs is the is this part it's very sloppy for some reason so the so I got a little bingo on my on my gamma. So at the right 
at the right leg, the whole leg. I got a little bangle, so this part doesn't stay at all. Meanwhile, this part is stay completely fine. This part is very sloppy. This part is completely fine. I don't know why. And the feet down here is, uh, during there's a large piece of armor interruption. There's no way you can move it to a uh, different position. But the bottom of the feet, there's some detail. Make sure you do the panel lighting. Well, lastly, we got a backpack. But honestly, I need to say though, there's not much to say about this backpack because it's a very ordinary backpack. Just Four, just two pieces snapped together and then two circle pieces snapped together again. Uh, so if you don't realize it, this is exactly the same backpack like the Gabaldi Rebucket because I said, as I said, Gabaldi Rebucket is based on this. But uh, the difference is there's a huge cannon at the side for the Gabaldi Rebucket. This one don't have anything. So it's just a pretty simple backpack. So that's not really much things to say about it. Next up, we'll be talking about the accessory. The first one is this shield. So the shield is pretty simple. It's just a couple pieces and there's a little detail in the shield. So please be careful when you have to, you know, do the panel lining as well. And then we got a joint here that you can do it. But this thing is like the XG Mark II. There's two join here and you can choose it to be a uh, shield. You can, you know, combine the shield or you can extend the shield. So if you put it back to the joint before, you can extend the shield like this. And then, you know, what What you have to do to put on the gunplay is pretty simple. It's just, you just basically have to find a joint and then you just put in it. And there you go. And then you can actually, you can roll, and then you can rotate it around using the joint in it. And then next up, what we got is actually the beam savers. So remember I said this, the beam savers on the shoulders actually doesn't work. Well, this time Bandai give you two other beam savers that is actually a separate separate part so you can make sure that you can do some poses with it and then lastly we got the trigger hand with trigger hand and the beam rival so if you're very familiar with this design yes if you don't know the gabali beta is based on a uh, gelagugu so that's why the weapon and the head and the overall design looks very similar to it and this is just a beam rival and the scope here obviously is a sticker and that's pretty much it. There's no other accessory or anything. And this is just a pretty simple gampa. Well, thank you for watching. And this is the end of the review. I honestly need to say though, this Gabaldi beta is way better than the Gabaldi Rebake. And I absolutely like it. And I actually forgot to say though, the arms you can move to the front. I forgot to say about this part. I'm sorry about it. But anyways, this is the end of the review. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in another Gunpla review. Goodbye.